Hmm, I'm not sure about the lighting in this video, but if I open this blind, I'm gonna be blinded by the sun. We're having a very unexpected burst of sunshine in September and I'm quite enjoying it to be honest. Though I probably would be enjoying it more if I weren't in my office, but I mean, it's portable. We could go outside later on, which is probably gonna be on the cards. However, anyway, hello, welcome to a, another little studio vlog. This is one that I've been waiting to film for you for so long. I've been trying to get through this Adobe Illustrator course that I'm creating. If you haven't heard about that course, actually I might as well do the little shameless self promo right now. If you're into Adobe Illustrator and you would like to learn more, I go through it from start to finish. I've created a whole course, we've got a syllabus, we've got modules, you get a little exam as you go through and you get an accredited certificate at the end when you complete it. So it's been a lot of work but it should be released between mid to late October. So if you want to sign up, just put your email down for updates you can i'll leave the link for that in the description of this video so you can sign up so you know when um, my illustrator course is coming out which is insane i'm gonna have a course and if you don't want to sign up yourself tell your pals i'll leave the instagram post down below too so you can have a little read of that so yeah basically that's why i've had to wait to film this video because i've been trying to get all that stuff sorted and it's just made me even more excited so i wanted to first of all shout out the lovely people who have sponsored this video it is the team at hp can we just take a minute you bet when i got this email i was like jumping up and down like a crazy person because hp but if you can't tell i have a new child in my office and she's beautiful but the premise of this video is for me to test out and use the new hp mv15 laptop and see how seamlessly hopefully it integrates into my work system so i actually received this a couple of weeks ago possibly and all i've done so far is unbox it i've set it up and i've installed the adobe software on it that's all i've done so i'm going to insert those clips of me opening this now So here is the laptop in all its beautiful glory. First thing I noticed is that the screen on this is so much bigger than my existing laptop and the quality and the clarity of it are insane. So I'll show you. So we've got the power button on the keyboard and all the most important elements that you need, it's all in one in this keyboard. And if you look here, there's a fancy little thing and that is actually a fingerprint reader yep i have a fingerprint reader and then also it's got like the typical volume adjustment buttons you can turn on or off the webcam you can turn on or off the microphone so you've got everything that's sort of to hand and the actual body of the laptop is made out of aluminium and as you can see it's intel core i7 10th gen and it's got a geforce rtx studio chip a little bit of a disclaimer now obviously i'm not a laptop pro but i do know that this laptop has been made specifically for like high performance tasks so obviously i edit a lot of videos i open and use a lot of software at the same time i multitask so that is one of the biggest things i need i need to make sure that the insides of the laptop can handle that power so let me just show you this fingerprint thing because your girl's fascinated by this it's already on and it's waiting for my fingerprint to sign in scan your finger and just like that she's in first task on the agenda is to see if my existing devices connect easily to this because i either work sat at my desk here or i work sat on the bed i actually spend probably more time sat on the bed but we'll pretend that that's not a thing although it's like a big screen it's not heavy at all like you can see how thin the whole body of it is so it was a lot lighter than i expected it to be when it arrived but you can feel the quality of it so i'm happy about that i'm gonna have a look at setting up my keyboard and mouse and we'll see how they work and how quick and easy it is to do so i'm gonna go into settings and did you know it's touchscreen which can't get over this is going to make my workflow so much better especially when i'm just doing quick tasks that don't require like my keyboard and my mouse i can just touch the screen so i'm gonna set up my keyboard now it's already popped up amazing now for the mouse 
to get the Bluetooth discoverable and we want to add device Bluetooth make sure your device is turned on and discoverable it is we've got the mouse I can see it connecting and it's working this is the efficiency I need in my life the only other thing I might possibly need is my drawing tablet so let's see how efficient it is for me to set this up this is what I use a lot for my drawings which we are going to get into drawing very soon so we've got a USB slot plugged it in setting up a device we're setting up your device is that it is that all i do your touch device is set up and ready to go i think now all i need to do is install the software for my touchpad because it comes with a software where you can like set things up excuse the array of lighting equipment in the background i have very easily set up my screen so when i record videos generally i have my notes and things on my laptop and then i have the actual work that i'm doing on the screen so it's good to know that i have both those options the final thing that i like to do on my screen is obviously screen recording if you've watched any of my other videos where i'm doing like tutorials or anything you know that i have to record my screen so usually when i do this the fan on my laptop goes insane and it seriously slows it down so because this hp mv15 has gaming strength insides wow we love being a technical queen that should hopefully mean that when i screen record things are going to be okay but time will tell and then i'll get away from the technical things that i clearly don't understand and we'll get to creating something because i'm actually going to create something really really cool for a desk drop thing that hp want me to do so i'm going to talk through that but yeah let's see if this screen recording thing works and then you can actually see what i'm doing on the screen so i am gonna go into the settings and find the gaming section because in here you're able to record your screen so apparently if i press the windows button and g it brings up the game bar aha and then i can start recording so i guess now is the time for me to flip into dual screen mode and you can see me working in my unofficial tutorial setup it's a chill one today but i'm going to show you how i'm going to create a desktop wallpaper then i'm going to make a coloring page because i had a lot of fun creating coloring pages um a couple of months ago and it's been a while so i'm going to make one and show you how i did it we're going to test the power of this laptop with both screens open and lots of information going on we'll see because i know not many laptops can stand up to this sort of pressure i have adobe illustrator open and the first task i am gonna create a new document i want to create a desktop wallpaper first so let's go with web web large 1920 by 1080p i feel like that's a standard desktop wallpaper size all right so i have on my screen the desktop sized artboard i also have open pinterest the laptop's handling it which i'm very impressed with so far so we've got some kind of cute little sunset vibes going on so i have that open on my second screen so i can see it actually when i film videos normally i tend to have a word processor document open of some sort um with notes on i'll have my organization app and sometimes photoshop as well so i have a lot of documents open which i'm sure we'll probably end up getting to but i am gonna just get straight in so i've not even sketched this out i'm just gonna have a play around and see how it goes i am gonna do the skyline or like the is it a skyline do you know like when you do perspective it's the vanishing point i'm doing like that but i'm not using perspective because ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> so i want the color color guide please and I want a lovely pink shade and I want a lovely pinky shade. I'm going to make the most of the colour guides helping me choose what sort of shade range to go with because I feel like it's rude not to. And if it's helping me out, I might as well go with it, right? So I'm thinking a lighter shade for this part, which will be like the C of course we can change it let's go with mm, that's a bit too pink for my liking yeah let's go with that then for the sky 
to use a rectangle tool this time be a lot easier the sky i'm gonna do something a little bit darker hmm let's go with that yeah i don't want the outline though okay and the plan is to let's drag this in here so far this software is handling it absolutely fine like as fine as ever and i'm happy with that i'm gonna build up this in layers so all i'm gonna do is i'm looking at building a sun somewhere in the background i'm thinking maybe some mountains and then i'm thinking like a lake in the middle and then some landscape around the outside and some mountains in the background and then we'll add some textures and some like stars and stuff so it looks like a sunset and hopefully it'll look cute it's one of those things where in my brain it looks great it's whether when it comes out in person it does or not so we will see but cue the time lapse all right i've made a little bit of progress we've got a design sort of starting i actually want to have a little play with the touch screen not gonna lie so i'm gonna play with the either the blob brush tool or the pencil tool and i'm gonna do the little squiggle for the like motion in the sea so i have my drawing i have the pencil tool and i want it to be like squiggly and i could draw it by hand but why should i draw it by hand when i can do this <gasps> Okay, maybe let's try it with the blob brush. Blah. Magic. Not my neatest work. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but I'll perfect it in a second. Are you getting where I'm going with this? Does that make any sense? I need to make that look better, but I am buzzing that I can do that with the touch screen. Okay, back to the time lapse. <laughs> I've relocated over to my bed because we all know this happens. It's much comfier. I don't understand how people can work on office desks permanently. But I've changed the colours in this drawing and I really, really like it. I think I'm going to add a couple of ripples to the ocean and then I'll be able to show you the final results. <laughs> have made progress so we've got a desktop wallpaper and we've got a phone wallpaper and these are going to be available to download i love them they're showing up a little bit lighter on my camera but they're actually like a really vibrant orange blues purples pinks kind of colors and i absolutely love them so i actually am going to do a little coloring page now and basically what i'm going to do is in fact i could do this with a touch screen i can go to view outline and that is all the outlines of my work and i'm going to sort of follow along and get a rough idea of the artwork so people could download and print it as a little coloring sheet too so yeah look at it it looks so nice i mean tweet my own horn here but yeah, and I have not had any issues with this laptop so far. One thing I have noticed is how smooth this touchpad is. It has like a glass cover on it, which is a first for the HP MV laptops. So I'm very, very impressed with this. And I've also been sat listening to music and having the controls up here is obviously something I'm very used to. So having that available is amazing. And yeah, even though it's on my knee, the fans aren't going crazy. It's keeping its temperature really really well which is great because we all know i'm lazy and i like laying on the bed okay so last little bit i'm gonna do the coloring page and i might actually try and do it with my finger on the touch screen just because it's great and why not use it so i'm actually gonna create a new artboard and then we will try and do the um coloring page so cue a time lapse and i'll see you when I've done. Hey, 
Hey, so I have had such a fun day creating something different. I feel like it's been so long since I've just sort of let my mind go free and played around with stuff. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out and I actually got on so well with that computer. Often when I switch computers, I get really frustrated with it, trying to pick up something new, but this one was just seamless and yeah, I'm very, very impressed with it. So yeah, thank you so much HP for sponsoring this video and offering me this opportunity to try out the new HP MV15. Like I said, it is a brilliant laptop. You guys know I don't recommend anything that I don't like, so this is a prime example. I will leave the link to the laptop and HP products in the description so you can check them out if you're in the market for a laptop and any extra information that I've not included I will include in there too and yeah I will make sure to create some exciting things on this laptop I'm very excited about it so yeah thank you very much for watching this studio vlog and I'll see you soon for another one